Okay, we got some sea water here in the glass, and I'm going to taste it. It's salty. The, this is going to be the demonstration of the vortex and how it will turn seawater into drinking water. There you'll see a stainless steel pressure and as cooker. As you can see, the coil is submerged in water inside the bucket. So there goes the seawater. This has been transported across the Cascades to eastern Washington. We'll have to go take a break because you know what they say. The watch pot never boils. All right, so then you'll want to attach the post filter that will help polish the taste of your water and remove any residual gases that might manage to get through. So we've got a tube at the end and so that you can direct it into a clean water receptacle. You'll see the adapter that we've made for the pressure cooker. It increases the flow rate and makes it really convenient to attach. Some completed coils that have been processed by cutting 316 stainless steel tubing and deburring and blowing out with compressed air any residual filing. They're capped and rolled with the caps on. Caps are removed, they're steam sterilized, and the caps are replaced. This is the Vortex. In probably 15 minutes or so, we've got water. This water's looking pretty clear after it's been condensed and distilled and filtered through the carbon filter, so let's see how it tastes. That's amazing. That tastes like it came out of my tap at home. Really. Doesn't the vortex it? rocks. <laughs> okay, here we are. Test number two for the Vortex non-electric water distiller. This test will be for urine. Bill has been collecting urine all week long for this moment. And uh, we believe that we'll have clean drinking water at the end of this test. So there goes the 100% USA made urine. Yum. <laughs> you better save a little. <laughs> and the lid slides right on. Clamp it down. Okay, here we got the installation with quick clamps that make it really handy. So we've got the whole setup here with the fire going. We've managed to get a nice hot fire going in the Grover stove. You just got to keep feeding those uh, sticks or whatever you're burning. And we are about to test the urine after it is distilled and filtered through the carbon post filter. So let's see okay, we if it's drinkable. At, we're starting at a quarter after on the second hand. And you can see it dripping slowly but surely. And you can see the color as it comes out. It does not look like urine any longer. But the true test will be the taste. But really what we're, we're aiming for here is that it's drinkable. The taste uh, will be a bonus if it tastes Good. All right, we produced an ounce of water in a minute and a half. All right, here's the test. My urine. It's got an acceptable bouquet. <laughs> what do you think? It tastes like water. It does. It tastes like cool water. Maybe I should try some.
I don't know about this. But hey, we gotta we gotta um, be the lab rats here. So here is my partner's urine. That tastes like water to me. It's not bad. Uh, I drink that all day long. We hope that you enjoyed this as much as we did and go to highwaterfilters.com. The Vortex Non-Electric Water Distiller. You're not included. <laughs>